Today's video is sponsored by Babbel, helping to make any new language fun and easy to learn. Ahoy everyone and welcome to SSL episode 669. In our last episode, you'll remember that we brought you to the spectacular San Blas Islands of Panama. The San Blas is an archipelago comprised of 365 islands and surrounded and shrouded by just as many reefs to make navigation a real treat if you're not prepared. The San Blas are located at the north end of Panama, about 60 to 70 miles east of the Panama Canal, or about 50 miles west of where we started in Portobello. These pristine islands have become a haven for ecotourism, there are lots of boats doing charters in the area to introduce travelers to a much more simple and sustainable life in a very remote location. In fact, the only inhabitants of these islands are the Kuna Indians. They used to live on the mainland, but when the Spanish invaded, they pushed the Indians out and the Kunas all fled to the remote islands where they still live to this day. The Kunas always maintain their own native language, but nowadays you'll find most of them are fluent in Spanish. Spanish. I wish I could say the same, but with the help of today's sponsor, I'm working on it. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, we are just about ready to leave Chichime. We had one quick appointment to meet with some guys that came over from the mainland to purchase one of our old sails. We have two brand new Genoas now, so time for the oldest one to go. Helps out these guys, and good for us too, because it gets over 100 pounds out of our bow locker. Nice. Once we wrap things up here, we'll be on our way to take our crew for a last little tour through the islands as they're leaving tomorrow. We're going to sail down to Green Island and tomorrow morning there's a water taxi booked to pick them up and take them back to mainland. So that's our plan for the day. Matata. Lakuna, like? Now we're off to Green Island, which is down in the east end just before Nargana, so the far end of the sand blast. That's about 15, 16 miles, so it should take us two, two and a half hours. It's a good wind today, so I figure we should be doing six and a half, seven knots pretty easy. I'm just gonna bring her up on heading now. We get ready to bring up the Genoa. Yeah. Ready? Ooh, look who woke up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone wake up. Yay, Richie. Yes, it's very well, indeed. Time for sailing. Yay. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready, let's go.
the shopping boat. Yeah, it's a very fresh everything. Nice. Yeah. That was lucky. Mm, very lucky. Yeah, everything looks good. Yes, you'll find in Sandblast this is the most exciting part of almost everybody's day because you never know when or if the veggie boat is coming next. And I must admit, this is one of the few times when I really feel at a loss for language, which is why I'd like to stop for a minute and talk about today's sponsor, Babbel. Yeah. Yummy, huh? So I've been traveling in Latin America for a while now, and some of you likely remember that I met Madalena on my tours in Mexico. This is Maddie. Madalena. Hi. <laughs> New crew from Italy. In fact, I brought her on board to be my translator for our next travels in Cuba. Si amarra la olla, no problema. Okay, it's possible only one. But of course, when you have a translator on board, you tend to get lazy and not really learn the language of where you are. So sooner or later, you start to realize that, hey, it's time to start learning. I remember that moment came recently for me when Richie started becoming more mobile and Maddie started yelling, basta, basta, and I was like, <laughs> I said, Maddie, you can't call him that in public or people are gonna be offended. She said, call him what? I wasn't calling him anything. I was just telling him to stop, stop. And that's, of course, when I learned that basta is Spanish for stop. What I found different with Babbel is that you immediately start learning in a conversational manner. The software is easy to use. Just boot up the app, sign in, and you're good to go. So you can go directly to the website if you want to work from there, but the app is incredibly easy to use. You can see here I'm working on Mexican food, me gusta la comida mexicana, or I like Mexican food. And then you can switch over to explore where you find audiobooks, games, anything you want in the language of your choice. At the top, you can switch over to see all courses that are available. There's even a live section where you can engage in a course with a real teacher. El vestido negro es hermoso. The black dress is beautiful. Yes, <laughs> I've really been enjoying using this app and I think you guys are gonna like it too because I'm pretty sure some of you would like to learn another language. Obviously, I'm learning Spanish, but I'd be curious to know what language you guys might wanna learn. Leave your answer in the comments below. So for those of you that might wanna give it a try, I'll leave a link in the description that will give you guys a 60% discount on your first subscription. And that, my friends, is a very good deal for something that's going to improve your life. So with that, let's get back to the video. Next morning, it was 6 a.m. sharp, and the water taxi arrived to take Sandra and Andres off to their next adventure. And we get set to enjoy a couple days by ourselves before our next group, Ruby, arrives back at Chichime. Yeah, amigo. Okay. okay. Ciao guys! Ciao! Off into the sunrise. Yeah. Sunrise. The moon is gone this moment. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Okay, Capitan. We... On to the next adventure. Yeah. Well, Some nice sunrise. Today alone for take a break. Huh? Yep. And uh, yeah. Next adventure. Just you, me, and the little monster. <laughs> yeah. The little monster is the problem. <laughs> yeah. He's still sleeping. Yeah. Let sleeping him. monsters lie. <laughs> yeah, he, he just is good and he's sleeping in his bed until this morning, very early day. He drink a milk and after he won't close mommy, but it was uh, half past five in the morning. It's okay. Yeah, uh, there's our six o'clock sunrise. Delivery eggs uh, on board for uh, breakfast. No, nobody can tell you got no wavels. Wavos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he forgot the bread kuna, but um, okay, he don't forgot the eggs. It's good for the bread that we could make. All right, well, next horizon is awaiting. Yeah. All right, we are finally back to just the three of us. So we start out on our way to the Cocos Islands, specifically Coco Banderas. It's a set of three islands that are only about three miles north of us, so. We're just on a straight motor ride, straight upwind. It's gonna be very short. So we're just leaving Green Island behind. We've got the dinghy in tow, so we didn't really need to bring it up for such a short, a short passage. You can see we're just leaving Green Island here and Coco Vendettas up here. This set of three islands right there, which you can see right there. And that 
is our first destination today. Yeah, is somebody happy finally? Yeah, the creamies and like... We need some childproof bottles, then you can just play with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's still very early in the morning. It's about 8 o'clock. So, yeah, it's a beautiful morning area. 8 a.m. and we're already underway on a beautiful day. Okay, we entering Cocos Islands, and it's tight. <laughs> there are reefs on all sides, including our port side coming up. So we moved to starboard. It's shallow. Now we look for our anchorage, we'll be over here somewhere. But yeah, it is beautiful in here, that's for sure. Thirteen feet, I need to get back to the wheel. Okay, anchor's at eighty? Yeah, eight in the water. Tight now? Yeah. Okay. I've still got it in reverse, so we'll let it pull back a little bit. Okay, we can with these. Make sure it's good. Yeah, it's blacky. Hey, little buddy, you watching the anchor for us? Mm hmm. Richie, watching the anchor? We got a little breeze, too. Always a benefit. Yeah. Yeah, you can put the snubber there, I guess, please. Okay. Okay, I go take it out of gear. But yeah, we're probably only going to be here for half the day. Okay. Yeah, we're probably only going to be here for half the day, so I'm not going to set the anchor too hard. We're just gonna stop, visit, and then head up to Hollandaise, I think. And that's where we'll spend the night up in Hollandaise Keys. But we'll see. Plans change, you never know. For now, quite happy to be here. It's beautiful. Thumbs up, Coco Bandera. Yes, what a horrible place. All I can tell you is, don't come here. You'll hate it. <laughs> but seriously, it is spectacular. We could get lost in these islands for months if we had them. But today, we're just here for a short visit, go for a swim, have lunch, then off to the next island, which is supposed to be even better. Imagine that. That was a very nice stop in Coco Banderas, back there. And now, we're in the next stop, same day. Two stops, one day. And we came up to the East Hollandaise Keys, where the home of the swimming pool and barbecue island. So we're just checking things out, doing a quick scope around, before our next crew arrives tomorrow. But yeah, look at this. This is spectacular. Wow. Even got a tall ship on the horizon and a mega yacht. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice.
And the monster. Yeah, he want to walk in And the, the screaming apple. monster. <laughs> yeah, always wants to play on the solar panel. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, but you don't need to walk in up all the time. Yeah. Beautiful area. The swimming pool. Yeah, you can see lots of waves breaking on the reef outside. Now the other half lives. <laughs> Not us. We live sustainably. That is not sustainable. It might be attractive to some, but it is certainly not sustainable. Now this, that's more sustainable. <laughs> might not be attractive to some, but yes, it's much more sustainable. Subtle lessons in life. Very cool. to learn to swim in now. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect spot. This is the perfect spot for Ricky. How is deep here, the Cap Capitan? Here is 37 feet. There, 3 feet. Mm -hmm. Very big difference. what that is but it looks like a deserted pagoda or something. Old beer shack maybe. <laughs> but beautiful little island out on the reef. Nice area. And the new Starlink doing very well. Must admit. Very impressed. New school and old school. But yes, this is by far one of the favored places in the San Blas Islands, the Hollandaise Keys. And this specifically is the East Hollandaise Keys, where just up on the left, you'll see the area they call the Swimming Pool and Barbecue Island, a very popular stop for cruising boats and charter boats alike. There is literally a ton of small islands in this area, so whether you want to be close to the action or far, far away, <laughs> you've always got options. Anyway, I thought you guys might like a little tour of this spectacular area, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. And don't miss the next episode when you'll meet our new crew, Ruby. 
Thanks again for watching, everyone. Have a great day as always. Stay free, and we'll see you out there. Chao, amigo. A soltar. Ah. I mean, I mean, take this, that is very important. You, you, you have a task. Aquí nunca falla una barranquilla. Espero de no. Gracias, Juan. Como no. Que tengo un lindo día. Gracias, igual. Muchas gracias, caballeros. Ciao Richie! Ciao! Ciao Richie! <laughs>